Okay, well, they'll have to go slow. Okay. Holy rainfall, Batman. <laughs> Look at the water. Unbelievable. Well, he, they almost got, I bet you, since it's dry. Yeah, it's dropped a lot. I mean, it was over this road. This road was closed. And uh, I'm curious whether these people in that cedar siding house, whether they got underwater. I'm wonder if the catfish restaurant got underwater. Yeah. Alright, here's this house on the left, right up here. I'm really curious if they if they got water in there. Well, I don't know. Oh, yep, it's in the catfish restaurant. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? by uh, at least a couple feet now, so you know it was two or three feet higher than that. Very interesting. What a shame. Things that just ain't right. When you die with $16.4 billion in net worth, and I think it's a pretty safe assumption that you have not scattered near as much as you've gathered. Well, I stepped on the scale this morning, and um, I'm happy with my very, very slow weight loss progress. And today, I was going to eat something off my diet that I like. And that's two hot dogs from Sam's. They're a buck thirty, a uh, dollar seventy with a drink. So, uh, this is one another of the uh, things that just ain't right. I order my two hot dogs, and the lady has gloves on, and she's handling my money, and she handled the guy before me his money with the gloves on. And she takes my money and gives me my change, and and then goes over with the same gloves and starts handling food. And I didn't say nothing. I just took my food. And I went back when there was nobody there, and I very quietly said to the girl, and very politely, I said, you know, there's a reason they give you those gloves, and it's not to handle money. It's to handle food in a cleanly manner. I said, do you have any idea how nasty money is? Some of that money's been in somebody's sweaty bra or in a G-string or in some crack dealer's pocket. Uh, you know, you might give that some thought. I'm sure they would rather you handle that money with your bare hands and then put gloves on to handle people's food, to handle, handle people's food. And instead of saying, okay, yeah, you got a point, or okay, thank you, instead of just being polite like I was, she has to get lippy. And, uh, you know, in a real snotty tone. She says, well, if you don't like them, I can make you two more. Nobody else ever complains about that. And I said, no, I drove a truck for 33 years. I believe I've ate worse than that. But I just thought you might like a little heads up that there's a whole lot of people to notice in you handling money and then handling food with the same gloves. And uh, I said, you know, I intended just to keep this quiet between me and you so as not to get you any trouble. But if you want to get all mouthy, we can get the manager over here. Okay, then she apologizes. And I said, I don't need an apology. I just want you to think about it. That's all. Have a nice day. Jeez, people are such jerks. And, uh, you know... Seriously, money is some of the nastiest stuff you handle. Anyway, later. Big head. All right, let's get some worms and go flood fishing. Then I'm gonna tell you my last things that just ain't right story. All right, I got my, I got my big fishing rod, but I'm gonna try this uh, Popeil, 
Hopeel Pocket Fisherman. Let's give it a try here, see how far it'll go out. Huh. You tired of fishing? They do call this fishing and not catching for a reason. I think I have defective worms. So uh, here's the third and final installment of things that just ain't right. I went into a, it was about three in the morning, I was at work, uh, and the only place that was open was this Whataburger truck stop down in Tenaha, Texas. And uh, I went in there to get a Coke and a burger. And uh, there's a lady on her hands and knees underneath the table scraping bubble gum off the bottom edge of the table and she had a bucket of soapy water she was scrubbing the floor and scraping bubble gum and just all kinds of nasty work i come in she gets up from the floor goes around the back i order my food she handles my money with that nasty she had gloves on while she was doing that while she was on the floor handles my money with that nasty floor water and gum all over her hands, goes over, makes my burger, gets my fries, brings them over to me, and I said, you've got to be kidding me. Who on earth would eat that after, I saw you were on your hands and knees with those gloves on. And uh, she gave me my money back, she offered to put new gloves on, but what are people thinking, man? Anyway, that was my, just not gonna believe this. Yeah, that was Waterburger in Tenaha, Texas, just over the Sabine River from Logansport. And you didn't have any other options. That was the only place for long, long ways that was open. And that was when I used to pick up salt water down around the Mansfield area and have to take uh, the salt water to a disposal place over in Bethany, Texas. Okay, still no bites, but it's nice sitting here. The flood washed up a couple of wiener dogs. They're hard to catch. What do wiener dogs bite? Spinner bait? Worms? Look out, there's poop right there. You just walked in poop. Oh. Come here. Come here, you. Come here. Come here. Not you. You're already here. <laughs>